How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over some second order half-life problems. And just like we did in the last video and the one before that, we're going to go over what it looks like on a graph first. So if we have time on the x-axis, on the y-axis we're going to have 1 over our concentration of A. And that's different from the previous two, uh, the natural log of A is what the first order was and um, what we're going to use here for the half-life is t one half is equal to one over k times the concentration of a oh so with that gone over there we're gonna, gonna pull this away and um, we're gonna jump into the first problem we have here All right, so here's the first one we have. Uh, the following second order reaction was observed in your lab. A yields B, and then we have the concentrations of A there, and then the time. So first off, what is the half-life of A? And then what is A after 13 hours? So the way that we're gonna start this off is basically what, what are we looking for here? In order to get our final answer, we're gonna need to find K. And then so to find K, we're gonna do one, over 0 0.036 it's going to equal 1 over 0 0.0 oh, I'm sorry that's 0 0.25 plus k and we're going to have the 3 Two one five. So now we'll just solve that for k. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it, um, but the answer that I'm getting here is k equals seven point three nine six times ten to the negative three. Then the units are going to be m to the negative one minutes negative one. So if you're not sure how I got those units, we'll just work it back. Um, we had both of our m's here are just a single m, and then our time is in minutes. Um, and it just works out that way when when we divide it through. We have the one over three point six, point oh three six, the one over point two five, and then the k three thousand two hundred fifteen. So from there, once we've got our k value, we're just going to bring it down to the formula that we use. And um, that was, for a second order, it's going to be k times a. Oh. So now let's just plug in and see what we got. t of 1 half is going to equal, what we have here is 1 over We have 7.396 times 10 to the negative 3. And that is going to be times 0 0.25m. And we'll see what we get. Okay. So what I'm getting here is the half-life is going to be 540.83 minutes. So now we got A taken care of, we'll, we'll move down to uh, see what we can get for B. Okay, so B's asking, what is the concentration of A after 13 hours? So the way that I like to approach this, we know that for our time, we have that in minutes. So we kind of want to get our units equal. So what we're going to have here is we'll start with our time. So they're, they're saying we have 13 hours. And what we want that in is minutes. So 13 hours, and we have 60 minutes per hour. And we're going to get... 
780 minutes. So now we know how many minutes we got our units in a you know in a way that makes sense with the problem. From there we can keep moving forward uh, with with our formula here. So it's going to be one over a t. It's going to be equal to one over 0 0.25 plus then we have our 7.396 times 10 to the negative 3 and then we're going to use 780 as our t because that's in minutes and these uh, in that uh, concentration is based off of minutes so we're just going to do that out Okay. So what I'm getting for the AT is going to be 0 0.1024 M. So that is going to be the concentration of A after 13 hours. So from there we'll jump into the next problem. Okay, so what we have here is the following reaction is second order and has a rate, uh, rate constant of 0 0.77 m to the negative 1 s to the negative 1. 2a yields 2b plus c. Starting with a, a concentration of a is 0 0.059 m, calculate the concentration of a after 32 seconds. And what is the half-life of a? So first off, what we're going to do here, we have our formula and everything. And I like to just rewrite what we have. So starting with, what do we have here? We have A is going to equal 0 0.059M. And what are we looking for? We're looking for after 32 seconds. I'm sorry. So yeah, yeah. Calculate the A after 32 seconds. So what we're going to have here is start off with our formula. A, just like in the very last part here, we, we're looking for the AT. And that's the formula we're going to use here. So we're going to do 1 over, it's going to be 1 over 0 0.059M. plus 0 0.77 m to the negative 1 s to the negative 1 and it's asking for 32 seconds so 32 is going to be our time and that's in seconds and we just want to make sure so the final answer is going to be in seconds as well I mean I'm sorry um, just as long as our units are consistent everything's going to be in seconds so here we just have some math to do we'll do here So what I'm getting here is, so what we have here is 41.68, and that's going to be all equal to the 1 over a t. So then what we have is a t is going to equal, we get 0. Point 0, 02399. So we can say that's about 0 0.024 M. Because it's asking, calculate the concentration of A after 32 seconds, and it's going to be 0 0.024 M. So that's part A. Now, part B, what is the half life of A? Simply, we're going to put it right into that formula that we used.
1 over k times a, oh, it's going to equal 1 over 0 0.77 m negative 1 s negative 1. And then that is going to be multiplied by 0 0.059. And what we're going to get there in that 59M. Okay, so point. Okay, so what I'm getting for the half life is going to equal 22.01 seconds. So not too bad. Hopefully these were helpful for some people. And uh, yeah, that is second order half-life calculations.